Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have some exciting news. The VR Guardian's backend is now running on Microsoft's Azure Cloud. What that means for users is that the current backend for VR Guardians is now running publicly. I could generate a build, send it out to people, and they could connect and hang out and all that sort of fun stuff. But it also means that I'm prepared for the future where many people might show up, you know, hopefully. They probably won't, but hopefully they do. And if they do, I'll be ready to scale out the back end thanks to Azure. And another important thing is I've created a system that allows me to uh, handle the distributed nature of the self-hosted VR Guardians instant servers. Servers that can be even hosted by users. When you create a world and you want to run it, you can actually just run an application and connect to it and have that server simulation running wherever you want. I don't recommend doing it on your home computer, but you can if you want to. But dealing with uh, fault tolerance, the ability to save character data, even if the entire VR Guardian's backend is offline, critical. And Azure Cloud made that possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and get more into the technicals, but I won't spend too much time on it. I've gone ahead and integrated um, Azure Pipeline service to do continuous integration and continuous building and all that sort of stuff, or deployment rather. And you, you can see there's these builds here. If we take a look at the main pipeline, you can see I've generated all these build tasks that just build the services for VR Guardians. And then you can see there's some deployment tasks that get triggered. We've got one for each service. So, you know, now that now I can just push up changes to the GitHub repository and they'll be deployed automatically, which is cool. And where will they deploy be deployed? You might ask. Well, I've start I've decided to use Azure App Service, which was pretty easy. I mean, there, there were some challenges. It took me two days to set all this stuff up. So now we've got all our nine services running here. There's nine and there'll probably be more by the time VR Guardians is done. And these are running in such a way that if 10,000 people decided to show up tomorrow, which won't happen, by the way, spoiler alert, but if it did, I could just press button to enable uh, scaling. And well, these instances, you might see five auth servers. You might see uh, seven name query servers, you know, I'm just pulling out random numbers. So it's, it's definitely future proof. So when we go into actual production, you know, this is going to be great. And these are all, these are all running publicly right now. So you could connect to them if you wanted to. Another big important thing was the integration of Azure Service Bus, which is basically their message queue, similar to SQS or RabbitMQ. And what that allowed me to do with, with a bit of clever code, I was able to create what I call fault tolerant deferred HTTP requests. I'm able to write HTTP actions on a server and make calls through the HTTP refit interfaces on client or server to server or whatever, wherever it is. And those HTTP requests get translated into Azure Service Bus messages. And then when they're received, they get dispatched as if they were HTTP requests. Now you might say, why do we why do we do that? Why don't we just use HTTP? And the reason for that is is zone management's the current one that exists right now because it's the most critical one. If if the entire VR Guardian's backend goes down, we need to be able to keep health checks and character data for you know characters that are logging out of zone servers. So zone server is constantly doing health checks to let it know, let everybody know it's still alive through to the zone management service. And if the zone management service went down for like 10 minutes and then came back online and looked at the database and said, hey, these guys haven't checked in for a while and un unregistered them, uh, that would not be the ideal scenario because they're still alive somewhere. There's a distributed system of zone and instance servers, some of them run by users. So we need to do the check-ins in a, in a way that's highly available and tolerant to faults. And that's what message queues are all about. So when, once the servers come back online, they'll start to process those check-ins. They'll start to process 
characters that logged off and start saving their data so you won't lose character data which is pretty much the biggest thing the worst thing that you can do there's two bad things you can do in a game you lose character data and lose someone's uh, purchase that they actually spend money on you don't want to do that there's two things you don't want to do you don't want to have someone buy a world of warcraft subscription and then two minutes later it says they didn't buy the subscription but their bank still says they did that's a problem so yeah message queues help avoid that i also use azure blob storage for content delivery for worlds but that's not too interesting that's just like basically uh you know cloud storage but i use it for content delivery because you know it's not just for storage and so avatars and worlds get downloaded through there so yeah um aside from that i also am now using the manage signal our backplane which basically means it's there's a managed service for signal r that handles uh, websocket requests and so you could have like thousands and thousands of websocket requests managed by this and then you just run the signal r application somewhere else and it's just handling the logic side of it and that's going to help the social service scale out because i don't i don't want to spend time on dealing with the you know manual scale out with the backplane crap I don't I don't want to do that so yeah that's pretty much it those are all the services that I've integrated for now and sort of the benefit of what they deliver which the biggest thing for the user right now is going to be that hey it's public you can come play if you want to so yeah that's going to be the video for today guys thanks for watching see you in the next one